Hey guys, okay, so my sickness took a turn for the worse. Oh my goodness, I got my wig. It's really pretty, isn't it? Last night when I first got it, all I had was my black wig cap, and uh, I couldn't find my good black one. I had the crappy black one. So like, it wasn't going on my head right, and I was getting frustrated. Well, I finally just like took the wig off. I was like, girl, why do you gotta be so mean? So then I like tried to find my other wig cap, found it, put it on, didn't pin my hair down, put the wig on, and it fit better. So I was like, yay! And then as I was putting the wig up, in the bottom of the package, there was a new colored wig cap, but you see the edge of it right there. So I was like, oh, you know, like, uh, there was the wig. Hold on. Let me take this real quick. Okay. So, like, it was the wig, and then when you pulled the wig out, in the very bottom of the package was a wig cap. Which, I don't know if they do that for everybody, or if it's just certain wigs that come with it, or if it actually fell in there, or what. But, I got a new wig cap with it, so. But, um, anyway, this is it without the hair clips. Um, with, before I pinned my hair down, this would be really thin up here, and you can see the netting. Well, you can kind of see my bobby pin right there. i got to fix that bobby pin better. But anyway, uh, today because I didn't feel like doing it last night. I put my hair up, I pinned it to my or bobby pinned it to my head, I put the wig cap on, I put the wig on, and then I bobby pinned the wig all the way around. And it looks so much better today than it did last night without doing all that. So that may be how I have to start putting my wig on is pinning my hair because my hair has gotten thicker. And so I have to like flatten it out more. So I like I put it into twirly thingy, put it up on my like from the back of my neck to my head. It actually fits this entire length right here, and then I pin it. Which makes me think I should probably cut my hair soon if I want to keep wearing wigs, because this wig is already kind of tight. And if my hair grows anymore, it'll be, like, really super tight. But yeah, overall, I'm happy with my wig selection. With the two hair pieces in it, it looks so much better. It looks fuller, bigger. It feels like it won't fall off as easily. But this is also cute. I don't know how well you guys can see the back. Look at that. So, but um, this is my first like Lolita wig. I'm all happy. And see, I, I can't have my hair like that because my dark side burns. Oh, I might can. So I can fix this. Ah, I can. I just have to be very, very careful. Or else my dark side burns would show through. I just put like one little piece up front. And then it all comes. <sighs> so, there. I was just playing with the curls earlier and um, straightening them somewhat because they were like really close up to my head, like right here. And I was like, e no. But, um. So I'm on PJs. I'm lazy. But here is the two wig hair clip pieces. They're really pretty. I don't feel like trying to pull them out because I've actually got to get dressed soon and so that means I gotta take this wig off, so I'm not gonna put it all on. But um like I said, um <clears throat> um actually uh, someone at Animazement I saw was wearing one of Gotham's Lady in wigs. And her friend beside of her I thought was wearing one as well, but it turned out she was wearing a minty mix. And the girl's Gotham's Lady wig was like really tangled where she didn't have it brushed it. And she was like, yeah, this one gets so tangled and frizzy. It's not even funny. I don't like Gotham's Lady wigs. Just buy a minty mix. It's so much better. I was like, well, I've heard that Minty Mix wigs are really super thin, like the fibers are really thin. It's almost like wearing natural hair. And then if you're not careful, it can actually show through. And, you know, Gotham Lily wigs is uh, thicker, you know, the fibers feel, yes, more fake. But whenever you're buying a wig this color, 
I don't necessarily want it to look completely real. I mean, come on. I mean, I guess it would like pull off the outfit so much better if everyone thought my hair was actually purple and pink. But I don't know. I just I'm just like I like how it looks, the shininess of it. I like that look because then I have anime hair. I know I'm such a dweeb. It's okay. Everyone loves me. I hope. I think. I don't know. Do you love me? So I didn't want really to correct her, but you know she could have brushed and recurled her wig. It's not that hard to do. I mean, I recurl my purple one all the time. Yes, the curls do not stay like these do. However, I don't have any styling gel or wig hairspray, which I need to get some for wigs specifically. So I think if I got the styling gel, it would work. You know, put it in there, curl it, put it down, and it'd be all curly like this. I tried asking girls with little wigs what they do, but they buy them from a company in Japan, I believe, because uh, who I talked to said they didn't actually know how the wigs got curled like they did. They actually just shut them out like that already. So, I believe that, you know, Japan ha uses something on the curls because these curls are way too unnatural. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, uh, overall, I like it so far. If I have any complaints, I will let you guys know. But... This makes, let's see, I have my short red one, which doesn't fit me anymore. It shrunk up on me, I guess because my hair got through the thick, I don't know. And then when I went to wash it, some of the wig, like a line of the wig hair in the back, actually started un unraveling. So I'm like, okay, I'm not touching you no more. So I don't really count that one no more. I have the rainbow one, which me and my sister share. I have my all purple one, my all blonde one. My little short brown one, and now this one. So I have five wigs. If I still had the red, I'd have six. But I don't have my red one. So. I have five wigs now. I'm happy. And this is my first Lolita-like wig. And hopefully I'll get enough money up to go to LolitaCon. It's um, on Facebook. You have to type in Frail by Affiliation. Yeah, Frail by Affiliation to find it. And it's going to be in Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, I believe, next weekend. So, hopefully if I can get the 45 well, it's $45 at the, for the uh, ticket price. And then it's, I believe, 20 or 25 each person for the hotel. Because there's a group of us going and everything. I'm not sure. Keela will have to, uh, I'll have to ask Keela and everything. $45 for the ticket at the door. So, I had to have at least $45 to get in to the con and everything. So, I'm kind of hoping I get enough graduation money to where I can go to this. But if I don't, I don't. You know, it's cool. I have a wig. It's alright. Everything is a okay. Yes, it is. So, Hopefully this will get me in the mood to do more dress up kitties. However, I don't really have an outfit that's pink or purple this color. So I'll probably be wearing like black clothing with this wig or something like that. Or really white, bright clothing. I don't know yet. I'll have to see what I can come up with. Alright, so I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you like the wig. And I hope I answer some questions about got the food. Like, I don't know if I did or not. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!